This is Python's Paradise. This is your host, Greg Gilbert, a.k.a. the Python Hyena, here on December the 22nd, 2021. We're celebrating Christmas, folks. And I got a couple people that are absolutely desperate to hang out with me this season. <laughs> I'm, doing this, I'm doing this as a favor to Christina Applegate so I could uh, give her a break. <laughs> <laughs> what a joyous soul. Beautiful woman. <laughs> Folks, I give you um, a woman I've had on the show a couple times, including this year, the lovely, the beautiful stunt woman, Lisa Hoyle. And we have her partner in crime, the one who will jump in swimming pools to inspire kids. <laughs> Yes, Mr. That Greg, true. That's Greg true. Anthony, how you do, Greg? Pretty good, nearly perfect. <laughs> nearly you know perfect. I was looking through your credits. Now you did stunts in uh, a Cinderella story. I did. I was Zorro. I got to show you something. Oh no! <laughs> that was that's when I. Jump. You're just showing us your face. Oh. A Cinderella Wait. story. Yes. Yeah. What is that? That is me. And that is Hillary Duff. Hillary Duff. <laughs> no way. Yeah. <laughs> Hillary's a sweetheart. By I the way. love Hillary Duff. She's I awesome met her backstage at a concert and uh she was just absolutely the best absolutely you would never know her. her age because she's so mature but very very cool didn't chad work come out we all did so, me, um, me chad and jd so greg greg's, on that. greg's best friend is chad michael murray and jd oh. pardo and, then, and also jd pardo Mine MC mine and then, of course, MC. Chad Michael then, Murray. Yeah, I know who he is. In fact, <laughs> he was just on KTLA the other day, and we said, "I heard you're going to be on that show. If you don't mind." Because that's make... the news station that we watch every morning, and they started plugging it at like six a.m. Chad Michael Murray is coming in, and so go on. No, I just said that make me and Lisa feel special and pull on your ear. To say, hey, I know that you're watching. And turn he out was he in, was on uh, and he grabbed his earlobe. He pulled on his ear. <laughs> <laughs> we felt he was so in um, a Cinderella story and he was in House of Wax with Paris Hilton. <laughs> yes. He almost died in that movie. Yes, they had a fire. That fire that broke out in Australia. On the set. Was, uh, Did you not know about this? The no. set was made of wax. Brilliant. Brilliant. And of course, before we started recording, they were admiring my Blues Brothers mask. Yes. The Blues yes. Brothers, the greatest movie to come out of Saturday Night Live. Yes. I got a <laughs> couple of Blues Brothers uh, <laughs> Blu rays here. There you go. <laughs> I agree with you. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had. Uh, uh, Mr. Dunn himself from Murph and the Magic Tones on here. And I had, uh, yeah, I had um, Willie Hall, the drummer, and I had Blue Lou Marini. Blue Lou? Really? Yeah. Blue Lou cool. sent me a CD, actually. That's amazing. Yeah, uh, with some new music on it. I thought I was going to have him back this year, but he never did get back to me. I think he was a little down about the pandemic <laughs> restrictions. <laughs> That's really cool that he sent you that. Yeah, he I, did. You want to hear, uh, just, sorry, tangent. Um, yeah. So I worked on the movie Domino, uh, doubling Kira Knightley uh, years yeah. ago. Yeah. And we were shooting in Vegas at the Stratosphere. So we're on location. But then we shot for a couple of days in, at the Red Rock. So it's like, an hour or two away from there. And then uh, I rapped one day and like, all right, Lisa, we have a van ready for you. 
I hop in the van and Tom Waits, who also worked on Domino, wrapped at the same time. So then it was Tom Waits, he's sitting in the front, I'm in the what back cool... and the driver. And it was this time of year, I'll never forget because it was right before Christmas. And he starts singing Christmas carols. Yeah, uh, and then, yeah, yeah. but then he, he just did it for a short time. He stopped singing and I said, Mr. Waits, will you please keep singing? And he sang the whole way. So it was like a <laughs> private concert in a van with Tom Waits. So there you go. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Really cool. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, I, um, that the face mask gets me a lot of attention when I work as a cleaner. So if yes. there's people around that face mask, it's a, that's a major conversation piece. That and my Big Lebowski one, they seem to get a lot of. <laughs> oh. Big Lebowski. What a great one. Yeah. There's Lisa actually, actually has a pair of bowling shoes oh, from yes. the Big Lebowski bowling alley. Yes. Before oh, they nice. burned down. Yeah, I have. <laughs> so his brother accidentally wore them home from the actual bowling alley where they filmed. I don't Big know Lebowski. if it was accidental. Well. <laughs> But accidentally. And then his brother moved to uh, Bulgaria and he couldn't take everything with him, left behind these shoes and then gave to me because we have the same size shoe. That's anyway, not why he left them. Well, he that's loved what you. I, well, yeah. He's, he's, he's such a me. sweetheart. He said, Lisa, I want you to have these shoes. But how cool is that? What about me, Brian? Well, we have the same They're going to give you the severed toe. <laughs> With, with nail polish. polish i am missing a pinky toe and i still don't know where it went lisa um so another really fast story oh. i used to live on the peninsula in long beach and greg and i would collect sea glass it was our uh -huh. hobby and we'd pick up cool shells well he picks up a shell one time <clears throat> he's looking at it and then he hands it to me i thought it was a toy turtle it wasn't a show. I well, thought, it was, I, a no, it was, I thought a show. it was a Lego. Anyway, it was a real turtle. And I thought it was a sea turtle. I took a picture, went to a reptile store. The guy says, no, that's a red-eared slider. He needs to be in fresh water. Uh, he was curled up in a shell like this. But we named him Lebowski. And we had him for... Three, four years. Yeah, we took him to a turtle sanctuary not too long ago. So He's there finally... Got friends now. He was the dude, like Lebowski. The dude. The dude. He was yes. the dude. Yeah. Or uh, or Duder or El Duderito. <laughs> 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 you guys got your tree up? Y'all ready for Christmas? You know, uh, we don't do the tree. We do have a tree, but it's a different kind of. No, we don't do the tree because uh, my it's cat a, it's will a tiny tree. destroy it. Um, you know what? I don't have one up either because my cat's too lazy to decorate. <laughs> There's no tree. Um, it's a I bamboo had, tree. So I had every intention, and I'm still going to do it because I have all the ingredients of making. Um, I love making cookies, uh -huh. like cut out cookies and then decorating them. Um, I have all the uh, all the cookie cutters right here, and I was going to make them for tonight to uh, show them to you. Make and me eat them. Correct. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, I'm going to pretend like I'm on chopped. Like, I can, like, throw this down and there's our tree. Do it. Oh, there's our tree. There's our there tree. you go. Um, but then I'm reading through. I was like, oh, no, it needs to chill for two hours. So uh, I don't have the cookies done, but here's proof that they will be done. I can chill for three hours. I don't there get it. go. <laughs> but well, I have yeah. so much fun doing, like, the decorating and pretending like I... I'm like a pastry chef, but I'm not. Do you decorate Greg? <laughs> not necessarily, but we do decorate this guy. <laughs> <laughs> because he's got a giant smorgasbord here. <laughs> and he oh, loves it. Flesh. And he loves the frosting. <laughs> Makes no sense. My cat's avoiding me because he knows I'm on here. <laughs> he knows I'll put him on camera. He's camera shy. That's okay. Oh. 
Well, I'm in the festive spirit. I do have a Black Christmas, original Black Christmas, not the junk that came after it, but the original Black Christmas t-shirt. I got a Bad Santa t-shirt, but I decided to go with the cinema snob. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Bad Santa is a fantastic film. I This is a YouTuber, uh, the cinema snob. Yeah, yeah. I don't know them. who that is. What? Look him, up on, you, is. Uh, look him up on oh. YouTube, the cinema okay. snob. He's like um, the cranky film critic. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But, Do you like um, Bad Santa? I love Bad Santa. I got that here on Blu-ray. <laughs> I would like to get an interview from Bad Santa. I haven't been able to do it yet, but. Uh, okay, but. so you, um, you're you such a great critic. Have you seen West Side Story? The oh, new the one? new one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is it good? I personally, li- I don't think it's as good as the original, but I did like it. Um, it's got its issues, but you know what? I think Spielberg being behind it and his first musical, he did a little bit of musical stuff in 1941, but um, it's got a lot of energy to it, you know? Wow, you're, I, that's, you're right, 1941. Yep, yeah, yeah, a little Never bit of music in that. that. Yeah, but um, I, I liked it, you know? Uh, you could see Spielberg had some passion behind it, you know? Um, so uh yeah it's like romeo and juliet again you know but they had rena marino in it though Mm -hmm. she's in it so yeah yeah and i got some eggnog yeah Yeah. nice which my cat did not pour for me oh he disappeared now (laughs) how would you actually do your eggnog uh beverage you know what? If I have my way, I'd have it the way my mom makes it. And what is that? My mom makes it the best. I don't know what the she cinnamon? does. I don't know. <laughs> mom makes yeah, it the best. It's yeah. A secret mom recipe. This is That's just cool. this is just bought. So. <laughs> That's yep. cool. And look what I, I had to pull this out. I got the uh, oh, steel oh, box as well. Very loathing. I love this movie. I absolutely, and it does what Boogie Nights does. It actually looks like the 1970s. I hate it when movies say they're set somewhere and you can't tell. Yeah. Yeah, this true. really pulled it off. That's true. Like, I don't know if I told you about my costume. So, you know, the, the character I was up on the trapeze Mm -hmm. yeah. and I was wearing this like, I don't know, this unitard that uh, it's almost cartoon like, like I was big and then I don't like they had to uh, sew like stars on, I called them my stariolas. (laughs) (laughs) But then they, so I don't know if you remember, there was this one I think it was a hotel room and it had this pink shag carpet. Oh, I love the carpets in that movie. (laughs) Okay. They cut out a triangle piece of the pink shag carpet and they sewed that onto the area of the costume. (laughs) Oh, the legs? (laughs) <laughs> like in between yeah the, oh, the belly button a thousand words <laughs> the belly button correct <laughs> the south of the belly button there you go <laughs> yeah it was just that show was so bizarre so bizarre i love that shot where you have the plastic baby and you just go like this you <laughs> know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I saw that in the theater. And I remember when it came out, it did not do well. But I saw a few years later at a midnight screening and it was packed. Really? Yeah. So it's interesting. I don't think some... people really got it. Oh, I did. I saw that in Bullworth <laughs> the it's... same day. Bullworth? Yeah, I saw those the same, same day. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It, and I like Bullworth, but I love Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, you know. That and The Big Lebowski came out that same year. And they yeah, were yeah. Two, of, two of the discoveries I made. And same with um, 
54 mm -hmm. that movie 54 was another one that wasn't a big hit but was one of those little discoveries i made that i just like i i want to revisit that you know mm -hmm. yeah but uh i do have to ask how is christina applegate oh yeah. she's you know she's lovely so she's finishing um the third and final season of dead to me um it's like a soldier definitely a labor of love it's challenging um but she's not afraid yeah she's not afraid to be great that's right mm -hmm. well she whipped the crap out of will ferrell and an anchor <laughs> man. i yeah, always I just... said she's got the nicest eyes in the business Aww. you know um yeah. I got That's a few awesome. of her. I got a few. Like I've been a fan of her since Married with Children. I <laughs> love Married with Children. You know. Do you know the theme song to it? Love and Marriage. Yeah. Let's I'm not going. I'm not going to sing it. You guys are the professional singers. Love and marriage. Love and marriage. And together like a horse and carriage. This. I tell you, brother, you can't have one without the other. We don't sing. Well, I got to tell you. That was like really high. That's me. why, was, it, was I an octave off? I was. Just kidding. That's why we lip sync. <laughs> I love it. Sorry. I love the Christmas special where they had Sam Kennison, you know, <laughs> as the angel. <laughs> But That's, yes, Al Bundy enters and goes, I hate Christmas. The mall is just filled with women and children. All I hear all day is, I want this. I want that. Give me this. Give me that. Then there's the children. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that, that show was genuinely funny. You know, there's a lot of shows out there. They have the laugh tracks and they're not. It funny. lasted for, I think, 18 plus years because it was, like you just said, it was genuinely just funny. Mm -hmm. They didn't stretch anything. They just, let's just talk about what's serious and what's happening right now. Yeah. Okay. And of, and of course, Christine Applegate played Kelly, the and brain, the awesome. brain, the brain child of the show. She was awesome. Yeah. I love it. It is awesome. Yeah. All right. But I mean, I've got the two Anchorman movies here. I got Hall Pass here, you know, like uh, Hall Pass, great film. I love Hall Pass. I've interviewed I, uh, Vanessa so Angel started, from that. Um, I started doubling her on View from the Top. I remember that. I saw that okay. in the theater. Was you okay. the one? Uh, I know she took <laughs> one of the scenes of that movie. She tackled uh, Gwyneth Paltrow and stuck her head <laughs> down on that bread. bread or something. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know it. Was that you? That. Yeah, I did that. I did the sweetest thing. I did Samantha Who. I remember the sweetest thing. Mm -hmm. That was her and uh, Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And Christine. then you double Cameron Diaz jumping 90 feet off a building and Charlie's Angels. Yeah. Charlie's You're loco. Angels. You're loco. loco. <laughs> You're loco. <laughs> What's going on with uh, Cameron Diaz? She dropped right off the map. I think so, yeah. She retired. Yeah. You want me to tell you what I think happened? And this is just my personal vantage point. Please. Sure. In 2014 was the last year she was active. She did three movies that year. One of which was all right. The other woman, I didn't mind. I hated sex tape. I could see that doing... In the 1970s, I could see Woody Allen and Diane Keaton making that really great. They didn't take any chances with that. And I was like, there was so much they could have did and they played it too safe. But uh, like the worst thing she did, and it got hammered with Razzies, I believe, was Annie. I didn't like the version of Annie at all. <laughs> I, didn't I, did, I couldn't even watch it. That it was, was horrible. I'm and it was that you did. It was <laughs> not horrible because of Cameron. It was like, I'm sorry, I don't want to get into the race thing, but when you think of Annie, you think of the little girl with the red curly hair. 
you know and i've interviewed um, i have a redheaded father i know exactly what you're talking about yeah i've interviewed roseanne sarantino who was pepper in the uh 1982 movie so uh oh goodness yeah yeah wow that's cool yeah but i i i don't know whether she took such a licking over that those some of those movies that she just called it quits i don't know now again this is just my speculation i don't know her so but she was and there's something about mary and i love that oh my gosh that was so good yeah so <laughs> okay, i mean you know. <laughs> great film yeah. i know yeah. that all she has to do is not use a particular kind of hair gel and, <laughs> and she will not be recognized in public. Correct. <laughs> but um, well, I it depends on what public you're talking about. <laughs> I interviewed Vanessa Angel, who was in uh, Hall Pass, and she spoke uh, kindly of Christine Applegate. Mm. Yeah. And um, who did I? Oh, yeah. I interviewed. Um, why am I blanking on this woman's name? Whoopi I'm Goldberg. Blank. No, it was the woman that was um, Paul Turner. Rudd's Paul Rudd's girlfriend in the party scene in Anchorman. Dar Darcy Lisa Donovan. Dar Darcy oh. Donovan. Okay. And she spoke kindly of uh, of Christina Applegate. Christina had great wardrobe in that movie too. <laughs> <laughs> She had that. She wears those uh, pantsuits well, you know, <laughs> just sharp, you know. <laughs> yep. So, yes. no, Very I'm. Sure. Look at that. He's trying to act like I don't want to be a part of this, but <laughs> can I get in there? He just wants you... a little FaceTime. Do you ever bring the kitty over to see Christina? Um, no, but I've sent it's her. I've sent her videos of him. <laughs> <laughs> too heavy. Yeah, two pounds. He I was more than me. <laughs> I was hoping you convince her to come on here, but I, I I understand if she's under the weather, you yeah. know. Yeah, but uh, I I wish her well. I even like actually come to think I liked her in that uh, vacation reboot. I know. I've only I've seen. We have to watch that. I know. I've seen parts of it. You want me to tell you what I liked about it? Is Please. they did they didn't they didn't remake the first film. You know, they had Ed Helms playing Rusty, and they had Christine Applegate Ed play Helms his wife. Fantastic. Yeah. Christine Applegate played his wife, and uh, they wanted to go to Wally World before it closed down. And I kind of like that take that they did. <laughs> You know, it played, it was more a sequel than anything, you know, but I just remember Christina, <laughs> this is so gross, but they ended up, they thought they were, you know, refreshing themselves off and they were in this, um, they were washing themselves off and uh, yes. Christina Applegate pulls the stuff up. She says, this is good for your skin. And she starts rubbing it all over her face. They discover they're in a sewer. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> yep. Oh, and she just went for it. So one thing that's really great about Applegate is mm -hmm. she her timing it's kind of like a John Ritter. She just has the right timing and she can be so sweet and so cute and just take a moment, pause, and then draw her line. And then it's like, oh my God. Okay, that was good. And, and, and she, she just was, has that naturally. Yeah, like whenever, she has a whenever natural I, timing. Whenever like, I hang out with her, I'm always damn. just cracking up the whole She's time really good the whole time i'm with her she yeah. just has me dying <laughs> she's great she's i also great. saw a clip Funny. of her in the the muppets as well um i want to see that oh yeah well i remember i saw this clip because i love this kind of humor of course and it kind of reminded me that. of uh, a, a, a a cause that i'm involved with but this this kind of reminded me of that 
I guess uh, she and Miss Piggy, uh, Miss Piggy was <laughs> jealous of her or something. And Miss Piggy was out in the car flying and Scooter approaches the door and uh, he has a cake and uh, and um, she comes to the door and she goes, goes, hi, Scooter, how are you? And, 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 you know, and she, she kind of knows Miss Piggy's there and she goes, let me guess, you're supposed to put that cake in my face, right? Oh, and, Sco- and, and, and Scooter goes, I'm not supposed to say. And she goes, look, I don't want you to get fired. So Christina <laughs> takes the cake and she puts it in her face and then drives it in further. And then you got a shot of Miss Piggy going, take that, Miss Applegate. And then <laughs> Christina pulls the cake down and she says to Scooter, you want some coffee? And Scooter's like, oh yeah. Next shot, you get the police coming around arresting this piggy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so I love that kind of humor, and uh, I love Christina Applegate's game for it. You know. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great. And again, she has the most gorgeous eyes in the business. I love those eyes. I've never heard that before. I think she would love to hear that. I think she would love to be what (laughs) you're saying my eyeballs are beautiful (laughs) well let's talk to Greggy (laughs) and yes look tell Christina come on here and I'll tell her myself (laughs) nobody's ever I don't think ever said that to her before are you kidding me eyeballs she's got gorgeous eyeballs you really want to see, really see Christina's eyes show up. Watch scenes where she's ticked off. Like an anchor man when she's laying the beating on Will uh, Farrell. Those eye flashes she has, and I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> she looks so sexy when she's angry. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Did you notice the eyelashes or her eyeballs? I notice everything. She's a complete package. <laughs> she was so great. classy in the, the the suit she was wearing, you know? Mm-hmm. Yes. Keep it classy, San Diego. Whoa. And do I not like walk around her when you're taking, uh, what is that? The Black Panther stuff up. Uh, works oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how much percent of the time <laughs> okay settle down yeah yeah i i love christine applegate and i i hope i wish her well i'm sorry yeah. to hear that news you know but um but i've heard besides yourself i've heard nothing but good things about her yeah she's just lovely all yep. around but yeah, yeah. We're gonna get her on the right track and back to normalcy. You need to get her to do uh, one of those uh, fear and loathing in Las Vegas scenes where she's on trapeze. <laughs> Actually, um, in this is another thing I love about her in Vacation that reboot. <clears throat> you know, I'm so used she to seeing Vacation. Mm-hmm. I I see guys do pratfalls all the time. But there was a scene in this, and I just sat up in my seat, and it just I just loved this. She was going through some kind of – she they were at her, uh, I think, old college or something like that, and she got challenged by the younger girls there. I've only seen the movie once, so I'm just reflecting little on this, but she went through this obstacle course with these other like, college students or something, and uh, – she took all the bumps, and, and I don't know. That could have been a, a stunt woman. That was Lisa. But... No, was that you? No, I haven't seen it. I didn't work on it. They shot it, I think, in She's Atlanta. lying to us. No, they shot it in Atlanta, and they have um, their own local hires. They don't. Anyway, I didn't work on that. That's too bad. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. It was just My nice bad. to watch that and see her doing all this. What well, what were perceived as well, her character anyway. And right. It's like um, it's nice to see the woman do the pratfalls. It's like mm-hmm. I I never liked Jerry Lewis when I heard him say, 
apparently he said that uh, women can't be funny. And I'm like, I can think of all kinds of women that are funny. Christina's mm -hmm. one. Kate McKinnon, who you can't call it, hold a straight mm -hmm. face around Kate McKinnon. Yeah. Lucille Ball. Melissa McCarthy. Oh, yeah. She's really Yeah. And one of my personal favorites, Emma Stone. Oh, yeah. I've doubled her. Emma That's Stone. Great. I have a massive crush on Emma Stone. <laughs> yeah, the that's, crush on Emma. That's awesome. That, that's not a name you hear often like, oh, she's a bad apple, but great apple. I, I love, it. I've had a crush that's on awesome. Emma Stone since her first movie, Super Bad. That was in 2007. And I still, anytime she's in a movie, I go Emma see Stone it. Emma Stone is M, M. Warney, right? From, wait. Emma Stone. I doubled her in Zombieland. Oh, Emma, wait. Emma Stone? Yes! What did you think I was talking about? Were you thinking Emma Watson? Yes. I think, no, he was <laughs> thinking about he was, he was thinking about Oliver Stone. Yeah. <laughs> he, was thinking of, he was thinking about Oliver Stone. <laughs> well, no, not that bad, but yes. No, he was thinking of Hermione from Harry Potter. Yeah, I was thinking like, there oh, you go. Emma Stone. Emma Stone? No. No, that's Emma Watson. Emma Stone is awesome. Mm, I love Emma Stone. I got an Easy A t-shirt over there, too, somewhere. So, <laughs> yeah. No, I... Uh, yeah, she's cool. Yeah, I've been a fan of hers for a long time. Went and saw Cruella this year just to see her, you know? Mm. And I, I really liked her in that. it. Yeah. Huh? We haven't seen it. You haven't seen it? I want to see, see, see it. You, see gotta, you gotta see it. I love Emma Stone. She's I, good. I, I could watch her read the phone book, you know? <laughs> She's What's hilarious. She did where she got nominated. I think she won a... La La Land. Oh yeah. Oh, La La Land was so before good. that. It was uh, the book about um, what's she that put, movie she did? She puts where? me in La La Land. Before that, <laughs> what it was the hell? All about the writing about slavery and whatnot. Oh, the help. The help. Oh my goodness. Hands down fantastic film and that what's the mother in that i don't you know, know. I, I only i only see emma me too then what when i see emma i need the help to bring me out of my face hey, look at you <laughs> it's like a silver linings playbook moment right there another great movie I've interviewed Brie B from uh, Silver Linings Pay Play. Oh boy, Have she, you really? she she was the uh, the uh, adulterous wife, and she's oh, yeah. so such a sweetheart. Um, she's very young at heart. Dude, the, 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 the shower scene is our biggest. Ted Barba, Ted oh. our uh, our lip syncs. Ted Barba is the guy in the in the shower. Uh -huh. so the reason he said our lip syncs is Ted Barba, he always comments and loves our lip syncs. Loves our lip syncs. Anyway, he's a stuntman, yeah. and he was in that scene. Silver Linings Playbook. Oh, so with uh, Bree. Got... Yeah. <laughs> Bree's got gorgeous red hair. Like, um, she was so awesome to talk to. I, I absolutely, I gotta, I'm going to have her back next year because Silver Linings Playbook will be um, celebrating an anniversary. So I got to have her back on, you know. Although I lost a lot of respect for Jennifer Lawrence, so you know. Oh, she's a great actress. Yeah, but um, comments like. Um, I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I'm gonna eat one of these right now. They're really good. Oh, there you Fanny go. May. Fanny May. Uh, they're just mint, got it from Chicago. Mint meltaways. Are you gonna you share any with Greg? Well, they're his. I brought them back, I... and she has not shared one of them with me. They're like, look at that. Barely anything left. They, yeah, they're just cute little bites. Oh, look and at that. And they just melt. Literally, you, they just melt away. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah, don't look at it. <laughs> look at that. She closed. She closing the box. <laughs> never even shared one. I own it. Oh, can I have one? <laughs> wow. 
You see that? Thank you. See, when you're good, you get chocolates. Right. I know she's going to go over to Christina's later on, well, and then, then they're going to be gone. <laughs> I try to be great. I'm not even good enough. <laughs> But Jennifer Lawrence, when she makes comments like she won't do selfies with her fans because she don't know who they are, but yet she'll do selfies with every celebrity she runs into, I I haven't gone to a movie of her since. Wow. I never heard I that. I didn't know that. That's awful. Uh, she was on, um, she's talked about it on interviews. And I'm like, um, when I go to the movies, uh, it goes kind of, kind of like this. I always picture every one of these big stars and their filmmakers off to the side, hoping I'll go to their movie. And I'm pretty sure when Jennifer Lawrence is in a movie, she doesn't want to play this, I won't do selfies with you bullshit with me. Because mm -hmm. I could just as easily say, well, enjoy the box office. <laughs> I got to go to see. There's a word for that. There's yep. a word for that. What's huh? the word? There's a word for that. What? That is cute. That's what? really cute. Yep. Are you seriously saying that? Wait, what? That's cute. There you Very go. Very cute. <laughs> like, I mean, when I hear stuff like that, you know, it's like, because I no, used to I go to. That. It, I hate it, that shit. You know, if, if she thinks she's uh, too good for public, then uh, you know what? Uh, I'm too good for her movies. You're, yeah, she's in the wrong business. <laughs> well, I get it. And I, I know don't she... feel like she's that. I don't feel like she's that. But you're right. Yeah, you shouldn't do it. Just be pointy. So hey, you're a fan. Thank you well, for even coming to my movie. That's yep. great. Well, that's, that's why, wonderful. Like I mentioned, Greg's best friend is Chad Michael Murray. Mm -hmm. Anytime he does some, a oh, fan wants a picture, he will never not say no. He always, if he's eating whatever it is, I will even say like, "That's don't do that. Come on, no, hold on." They watch my movies. They watch my stuff. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna sign that and take a picture. Yeah. Well, I, I, I get it. You don't want to hassle somebody, but she came off and I've seen more than one That's interview true. about this. She comes off very arrogant and I'm like, listen, Miss Hunger Games, if you want to really hunger. That's gross. <laughs> my exactly. response. To, are you are you starving? <laughs> yeah. Well, I look at it this way. If push comes to shove, I think the fans are going to do the shoving. She'll land right mm -hmm. on her ass. So, That's right. uh, yep. So she wants to shift that attitude, you know. I lost all kinds of respect for her when I, I saw it. Um, I it read it and then way. I saw it, you know. Yeah, that's too yeah. bad. Yep. Yeah. Goes but, a long way. But I love Emma Stone, though. <laughs> Emma Stone. Oh, she's <laughs> rad. I love that woman. You know who else is cool is uh, the woman in the help. The one that like eat my shit. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. No. Oh, she's. I love Emma Stone. Eat my shit. <laughs> Are you talking uh, about uh, Bryce Dallas Howard? Oh, the black woman in. Oh, Octavia Spencer. What is it? Uh, it's Octavia Octavia Spencer. Octavia, yes. Oh my god. I barely got much. that out because I, I Emma Stone's in it, and I'm just distracted. My bad, but <laughs> Octavia Spencer, <laughs> unbelievable. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Eat my shit. Sorry. That's okay. You can swear on here. Well, no, it's from the help. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I should have, I should have done this. Yeah. <laughs> the quotations. <laughs> so I don't get in charge. So what's bad Santa? What's bad Santa bringing you for Christmas? A little uh, mini person. About. <laughs> That's not funny. Hey. Oh, he's bringing you Tony Cox. <laughs> uh, 
When do you go double it. for him? I didn't say it. When do you go double for that. him? What? When do you go double for Tony Cox? He's dead. No, he's not. He died. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. <laughs> the little person in Bad Santa. I'll look him up. Guy? Yeah. The little guy? Yeah. He passed away. Did he really? Oh, you're kidding me. If I'm wrong, then you have to get a tattoo on your lower back. That's This is awful. Are you kidding me? 64 no, years away. old. I believe he passed away. I'll look it up. 64 years old. Sorry, Tony. I had to mention your age on here. <laughs> Does it show he died? No. He's right. still alive? He's right. still alive. Oh, Hold no. On. Hold on. How come okay. I can't see you two? Come on. Because my mom's trying to call me. Lisa's mother's calling. She wants to be part of this conversation. <laughs> yeah. There, there, there we go. <laughs> there you go. So he's still alive. Yeah. Oh my if, goodness. Really? If I if I ever, ever, ever see him, I'm going to show him this. So you'll have to give me all your money to convince me not to let him see this. I'm thinking of Mini Me. Mini Me thinking, is gone. You're thinking of Troy Werner. Is he yeah. Still no, he's, he's gone. Not. You guys are rude. <laughs> We're rude. Tony Cox thinks you're rude, thinking he's gone. Yeah. I was just kidding. Guess what? <laughs> Peter Dinklage, he's still alive, too. Oh. Oh, you know, okay, <laughs> let me tell you this. Hey, that's a good one. Let me tell you this. Uh, um, good one. A few years ago, you I doubled for him, right? I received um, the <laughs> Artemis award it's called the, right the warrior award anyway sure well oh. i can't um <laughs> and i took my mom to the ceremony mm -hmm. and after the ceremony a gentleman came up to us and said, hey i'm actually a pretty good at taking pictures do you want me to take a picture of you and your mom i'm like yes so he takes a picture of us and um, I had no idea because I didn't watch Game of Thrones. They're being polite. But then I watched it because we had a viewing party here in my building, Game of Thrones, and we're watching it. And as I'm watching, I'm like, "Wait, that's the guy that took the picture of my He's mom and I." Dude in Game of it Thrones. It was it was the Dinklage guy. He was so nice. Game of Thrones is that yes. the that's show? The is that the from Game of Thrones? Is that the that show about musical toilets? Yes. <laughs> How would you flush me? Yeah. I was confused for a nanosecond. How would you flush me? Gaga has got it really good. <laughs> Greg, tell me about doubling for Jessica Simpson in Employer of the Month. Well, A, they had to paint me down every day. I had to go. <laughs> I had to go. How did you know that? But yeah, I had to go in there. Well, apparently she complained because apparently there was a complaint. She said your legs didn't match hers. <laughs> it wasn't the legs. It was the face. <laughs> and I kept saying, like, look at me. <laughs> they would shave me down and they said you have a blue o'clock shadow and i'm like you just shaved me so where is the shadow and we can't do that and i go well put some foundation on me just <laughs> stop it what no you smear it not. down and then you they put a wig talk on about doubling girls it's 2021 honey and this doesn't happen this was 20 when was that movie you didn't 2013? I don't know. I'm trying to forget that movie. <laughs> anyway. So they happen. painted me down. Oh, stop it. What? Your fault. You asked it. Gee, I thought I had the inside scoop. 
Well, what what kind of scoop are you talking about? Are you doubling for Jessica Simpson? <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> what um, movies have you two done together? You did one of the Pirates movies, right? Mm-hmm. The third one, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. when Lisa fell in love with me. <laughs> no. That's when we met. <laughs> no, that's when oh. we uh, we worked on Light as a Feather, the TV show. We worked on Westworld. Westworld. Oh, it was awful. What about Eastworld? What's I that? I don't know if it's aired yet. What about Eastworld? <laughs> we don't go east, Caron. We don't go that way. West, the west side. East LA. The west side. Ain't no case. East LA. Uh -uh. I need Ooh. to ask you to this, and this is going on a dark note, but I, I know, Lisa, you touched on it. The whole situation with Alec Baldwin on the set of that. Oh, oh man. I know John Snyder from the Dukes of Hazard is. Uh, analyze this and uh, he makes some pretty convincing arguments against Baldwin <laughs> but um, you know you know about the Brendan Lee situation you know um, and I That's know you plug. yep and I know you you were in a massive uh, near-death experience yourself yeah I mean it's basically safety protocol not being followed i don't know who... i've never been on set where they didn't shine a flashlight into the barrel of the gun that they're gonna give to me before i do a and i've never had a first ad hand me a gun it's always the armor it's yeah and it's usually like in a, in a case like, hey, it's phone. not just sitting on a cart it rough. just sounds like everything was just done like willy nilly, and uh, yeah, it make it makes me just mad, and sad, and heartbroken. Should have never happened. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's awful. Yeah. There's, yeah. Then did we say there's never ever been a live round? Ever that ever that right there is like. And if it like, was what? a live round, I'd be like, I don't. That's a live round. I don't want to touch that. Nope. Not my. I think the media really needs to shift their attention and focus on the fact that this family just lost this person in their life. And I that think they're shifting. That's the biggest thing. It's like that beautiful woman. Yeah. And they're making it all, all about Alec. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying exactly. Alec did it on purpose. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that. On that. Yeah, it's like With they're trying to, that. yeah, but it's like they're trying to lay sympathy on him. It's like he's not. The oh my god, feel bad for me. No. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. I'm yeah. With you on that. Yeah. Well, I know what your worst uh, stunt doubling situation was. I'm. I'm pretty sure nothing could be any worse than you having your last rites ready in the hospital oh my god the chaplain coming in saying do you want to say goodbye mm -hmm. but what about you greg what was your worst uh experience as a stunt person my worst mm -hmm. probably this last year working on mine mc and I hit my head on the ground. I never hit my head. For 20 plus years, I've never hit my head. You're getting old. I know. And I'm trying not to say that. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> so I hit my head. And the main actor on the TV show, J.D. Pardo, he said he came up to me right away because everybody in the whole set, they heard my head smack the ground like did he just hit his head yes i hit my head i hit my head jd came over he looked at me and he stared at me in the eyes we're done He's like what are you talking about he called for the medic came over and they're like yeah 
I got a baseball grown on the back of my head. The size of a baseball, but it kept growing. Well, baseballs are generally the size of baseballs. Oh, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. So I had to go to the ER and get everything. And they made, I felt that they kept growing. Mm -hmm. I thought it was cool. No, it wasn't. When you hit your head, you go to the hospital. Don't mess around. NFL protocol. You hit your head, you get checked out. Go into a little blue tent. We don't have that for edit, for film. And we do some pretty crazy stuff. But we don't have procedures that, like, you know what? Spider-Man just hit that wall, slammed the ground, okay. But we did make $50 million this weekend. You know what? What about the guy that's doing the Spider Man stunts that's slamming that wall? Is he okay? I don't know. This reminds me of a conversation I had with another stunt guy. Um, The stunt guy right now is 95 years old, but still sharp as a tack. Have you guys ever met Ted White? No. Ted White, um, he worked with, he's. I've interviewed him twice. He doubled for Don't John, cry. doubled for John Wayne. He doubled for Clark Gable, oh, Lee so Marvin. He knew Marilyn Monroe when she was Norma Jean. Whoa! Yeah, That's well, cool. he famously he played Jason in Friday the Thirteenth, the final chapter. Oh my goodness! You know, and um, he talked about the fact that. Uh, there should be an Academy Award for stunt people. Huh. We've been fighting that for mm-hmm. 65 years. Wait. That's like a sign. What year is it? What year is it? You're showing us your belly. Huh? Now you stood up and we were looking at your shirt. Like, what is that shirt? That's a great yeah, shirt. It's a cinema snob. It's a cinema snob. Look him up on YouTube. Yeah, the Cinema oh. Snob. He's oh. even got two movies: the Cinema Snob movie. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I like him. Yeah, my uh, I had him here on the show. Yeah. Jeez, the Cinema Snob. But uh, I got this signed by Ted White. Oh. No way. Yeah. He dared mirrors. He would love. I like Derek Mears as well. You know Derek Mears. Yeah. That's a stupid He's a good friend point. of ours. He's you know what? I, I've never had him on here, but I loved his work in the, the reboot. Here's Ted White going after Corey Feldman. And there's oh, shit. Hold on. Let me see that. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Yeah, he signed it right there. All right. That's really cool. Yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah, he... Signs of... I've what got... is this? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I never, I never sell my autographs. I, um, Don't do it. No, I never do. Why would you... I... I had somebody was trying to get get me to sell some of my stuff on on Facebook, and I ended up blocking him <laughs> because he was just getting too forward with it. And I'm like, I I don't. Uh... Was his name Wes Craven? No. <laughs> Shoo. Thank you. Okay. Because I know that's one thing that keeps a lot of celebrities from signing for people is people making money off their signatures. And they don't care about that shit. Yeah. Sorry. Well, here's my thing what I tell people. Yeah. I tell people, sign it to the person. Because most people that yeah, are going to name. sell it, yeah. I love it when they personalize right. it to me. Yeah. And what's your name, Greg? Mm-hmm. Greg. Yep. I love it when they personalize it to me. Very smart. Yep. yep. I love That's it. That's cool. So um, I, I remember this. I don't know, kind of doesn't really have anything to do with that, but 
I did a career day at my friend. She's a school teacher. Mm -hmm. So I went to her school and did a career day and I brought headshots with me. And at recess, they all lined up and I signed to each person, you know, and I personalized each one and I signed it. Well, then I'm leaving, I'm walking to my car and this little girl comes running over to me and she goes, excuse me. And I'm like, yeah, she goes, was that a permanent marker? <laughs> I was like, yes, sweetheart. That was a permanent marker that I signed my headshot with. <laughs> you said that was a school. Was that at, uh, was that? where Cameron D Diaz teaches, you know, the bad teacher. <laughs> no. Probably, I'd say probably. She would love to just give you those kids for the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah. that's what I tell people. You see, I just started doing the cons in uh, 2017. Um, because uh, Lisa Langwa, a Canadian actress from that movie, Class of 1984, she invited me to my first con when I assisted her at her table. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the things I told her, always personalize. Yeah. You For know? sure. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. I've got all kinds of autographs. I don't, I've never sold any. And I love it when they personalize, you know. But when, it's, when you feel like they say your name and sign it, you just feel it's you feel special i mm -hmm. think and that's why we're stunt people because <laughs> we wanted to feel special can i get thrown out of the car for you <laughs> <laughs> can, can i, I get set on fire for you can i die for you, I die for you? you oh guys speaking of shop you any day of the week speaking of set on fire you do you guys know kane hotter I know who he is, but I've never met him. Okay. Kane Hodder. Kane Hodder. Hodder. Before your time. Before my time. He I'm was old. He's he was in he played Jason in four of the he Friday was, the thirteenth movies. Oh, yeah, original we that, Jason, yeah. right? No. 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 Second, the second one. Mm -hmm. He was tall. He was six. I've foot heard four. him. I've heard him on the Howard Stern show. He was in part seven, eight, nine, and ten. So no, he wasn't the original one. <laughs> Although I'm really bad at uh, movie trivia. For me, so, though, Ted White was the best. Jason, he was awesome. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. he had me believing he was a killer. In that. I talked to Ted White about people he worked with, and he said one of his favorite people he worked with. He didn't double for this person. I don't think so. Because he was on screen with them and uh, John Carpenter's Starman, he had a fight scene with Jeff Bridges and he said, Jeff, Jeff Bridges, Bridges was Starman. He had the, he, the balls in his hands. He had the balls in his hands. Mm -hmm. But right. he said that Jeff Bridges was just the nicest, most professional guy he worked with, you know, is Jeff Bridges. He just is a wonderful human. Mm -hmm. He's the dude. He is the dude. You're right. Starman. He, go, he goes in. No, Starman. Are you drinking a white Russian? Uh -huh. I, you know okay? what? Oh. When I was in Toronto um, in 2019, uh, after one of the. Uh, I, was at, I, I was at Horror Rama <clears throat> and I, I met Lisa afterwards because when I go to Toronto, I always meet up with Lisa. We've got a friendship going. Um, she actually gave me a little Santa hat for my cat, which my cat says is the gift that does not keep not your shirt. We can see it. Yeah. <laughs> right there. But um, anyway. Um, Sorry, your cat. Where, where, yeah, I know. Uh, where was I going with uh, Lisa the there? From the cat. <laughs> the, the, the cat in the, the hat. hat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's oh, my cool. goodness. Where was I going with that? It was something to do. If segue me, Toronto. Yeah, I know. And I started doing the cons. Um, <laughs> oh, 
You would meet up with Lisa. I'd meet up with Lisa and. Uh... Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, white Russians. White is. Russians. Okay. okay. White we, Russians. we we went to a restaurant, and um, she had some wine with her her food and. I was like, I wonder what I want to drink. And she goes, you like that movie, The Big Lebowski? Why don't you try a white Russian? I looked at the waitress. I, Can you do that? She said, yeah, the dude abides. Mm. Oh, the dude abides. <laughs> so I must Smart have man. One, I have five or six of them. <laughs> the question I, is, <laughs> did you, when that thing was spinning, did you jump? What's that? Uh, What's that the space needle thing in Toronto? And it's oh, um, the um, yeah, that's CN Tower. That's it. That, what oh, is yeah. that? CN Tower. CN Tower thing spins too fast. I got dizzy. <laughs> I I took a picture of it at Christmas time. It was all lit up in green and red, and I didn't go up in Beautiful. it. Yeah, I got dizzy. <laughs> they gave me ginger. <laughs> Did that work? No. Oh. I was spinning like a wild man. Mm -hmm. But I walked away speaking uh Australian. Oh, it's all right, mate. Like Outback Jack? Well, it's not like that, but I got I'm that. Maybe to walk away. Walk away. It's not a knife. That's a knife. Is that a knife? That's uh, not a knife. I got an Outback Jack wrestling figure over there. <laughs> Oh, that's see, that's cool. I didn't get that. <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, out back, Jack. Oh, is it right? Wait. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I've got a bunch. I went to one of those. I went to a Comic Con in Toronto, and I bought a bunch of those. I found found a, a, a one of the vendors had a bunch of those LGN rubber wrestling figures. That's pretty rad. I grabbed a dozen of them, you know, <laughs> I, and I one, one of them was Outback Jack. <laughs> uh, I would have, I mean, I would have done it. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, but I got him. Not your fault, mate. Good eye, mate. Good eye, Good eye oh, mate. Good eye, mate. That's all I need. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, I got him over. I got him over there in the big bag. <laughs> bunch of them but uh yeah i remember coming out of that con i had about seven bags of stuff and i was like i was thinking to myself can i make it to the subway can i make it this is heavy this is heavy and i saw this cab driver across the street and he was giving oh, me yeah. the most sorrowful look <laughs> and you i do? looked at what do you do what I do? I went over and got in his cab because I knew why he was giving me that look. <laughs> He's giving me the, the you need a lift look. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I yep. think. Yeah. Not your so, fault. It's not your yeah. fault. Do you guys ever do the conventions? I've done them, yes. And they're fan I always bring a rocker. Which is a rocker chair. You set it up so you can have a, you can go back and forth and just watch the people go by. It's fantastic. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah. You went with Chad Michael Murray. Right. I've never had any reason. Oh, to man. Go. Oh, man. It's fun. Why don't they get, get Christina Applegate at one of those? She would have a lineup. Oh. Yeah. Huh? I know. What? Oh, for sure. She can't. Guys, whispering about. No, he goes. She can't walk, and I said, "Well, well she's she got have... MS." She doesn't I know, I to... know, I know that. But I mean, you she could wheel. There. But wheel it's like, how's she, how's she gonna move? We have to sit her down and do that kind of thing. Well, However, she, well, she does that with you anyway, so. No, <laughs> we only do the lambada. You know the lambada? Yep, I know the song. Well, how too. do you know the lambada? Secret. 
I watched, <laughs> I used to watch Married with Children. I learned a lot of stuff. Oh, yes. Yeah. You know, Married with Children, when uh, Peg would bring up the Labada and Al Bundy be out the door. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that one. No, it didn't happen. I'm joking. Oh, okay. He'd, 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 that, he'd be out the door anyway. Trust me, that mug doesn't, you got it. You got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Didn't Richard Pryor have MS? I think he did too, did he? Did he? I don't know. Is that what killed him? I don't know that. I don't know. I don't know right off but the top of my head. It seems like something like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's Christine, Christina's not that much older than me. What are you, 32? 33. Thank Happy you. birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. 33 years old. How about you? you got, you got, you're getting some crow's feet. Look at this. <laughs> you know what? Lisa, look at I'll give you a hint. I was born the same year that The Godfather came out. 1978? No. Fuck. That didn't come well, out in 78. I didn't say that. 71? 76. 72? 72. Really? 1972 was the year all the dirty movies came out. Sorry for swearing. That was my... Oh, don't worry about it. Frank, I have people... Oh, fuck! I, 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 people swear on here all the time. <laughs> Everybody curses, I swear. Well, I have... the it, My resolution, no swearing, and get my... Get my in fact, actually, do you know a good veterinarian? Well, I'm taking my cat to get shots in January. At Where? Island, Where? Island, Island View Vet. Really? Yeah, here. I'm four Where's hours that? ahead of you. I'm four hours ahead of you, though. <laughs> That's fine, because, listen, I need to get a, a really good veterinarian because these, these puppies are sick. You know what? I don't think your arms are nearly as big as Lisa's. Right? Oh, I yeah. can guarantee that. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can guarantee that. Lisa Hoyle could have a pose down with the Iron Sheik. <laughs> She's Russian? The Iron Sheik will put you in the camel clutch and make you humble. I know the Iron Sheik. He's a really good WWF wrestler, but he's got nothing on Goldberg. Hold on. Oh no. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. <laughs> He's going to bring out. Don't you bring out some rowdy, rowdy Piper here, Cam. Hey. Rowdy Rod Piper. Is that his name? She's calling me out. Oh, you no. see, what do I oh, got no. here? What oh, do I got no. here? Oh, no. Hey, where's Ray? Oh, uh, I'll put you in the camel clutch shake. and make you humble. <laughs> it out of I, I thought it was you, Greg. <laughs> Do I look that white? No, not you, him. Oh, Greg. Oh, different Greg. Yeah, I thought that was Greg Gilbert. Where's Roddy Roddy Piper? Oh, oh no, he's got him. I Don't got him. There. <laughs> I actually, I've if had you have it, I've, the giant. I'm gonna cry. I had uh, um, Roddy Piper's daughter on here three times. Wow. No way. Yeah, Teal Piper, Ariel Teal Piper. Did you cry? Oh, uh, this is the closest I came to crying at a celebrity death. Was when Roddy that? Piper passed. Roddy, Roddy. I don't have him with the kilt now. I got some more opposable ones that I got Roddy with the kilt, but these are hard to find with their accessories, you know, but I like the fact you could throw these down the stairs. You can't break them, you know, so. Have you I, seen Napoleon Dynamite? He threw his thing out the bus window. I've but, interviewed somebody from Napoleon Dynamite. Don't you dare. I you know that I doubled. I interviewed Pedro. Ellen Dubin. You know, Pedro's not double, right? Did you vote for Pedro? I am. Uh, 
did I have a choice? Of course, I voted for Pedro. Then why didn't he? What? Then how did Trump get in? Then if you voted for Pedro, <laughs> now you're getting biblical. Oh no! The eight oh, dude, wonder of the world. Of that guy. He's got like a beer belly and frog legs. It's not a beer belly. That's Andre. That's it's a K-Gab. Okay, WrestleMania yeah. one, he picked up Big John Studd and he slammed him. That was the longest oh. ride down for John Studd. What about mankind? Do you have mankind? Oh, I've Sorry, got him in my other. To say. Sorry. Sorry. I understand. Boys will be boys. No, it's not. There's no bad Jack. Oh. What? So bad Jack. Look at that outfit. He's, it's camouflage. Boots. It's camouflage. You can't see that. Got the yellow boots and the brown vest. Is that Jesse the Ventura? No, I don't have Jesse. Do you have Dog the Bounty Hunter? No. It's not, he's not <laughs> a... Oh. oh, my goodness. Wrong genre. It's all right. Jeez, his chest is huge. Who is that? This it's is me. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Steamboat. Oh, Ricky the Dragon. That's awesome. And the greatest wrestler, laugh wrestling legend ever. Don't say it. Don't say it. Is that? He's got big quads. <laughs> Good job. He's quad man. I don't know. This is Bruno San Martino. Oh, it's not Bruno. This is Bruno. Look at those panties. <laughs> the living legend. Bruno and the Speedo. Oh, he's uh -huh. wearing panties, though. Mm -hmm. Ta da! I'm losing my vision. He's got great. Uh, Here. Bleh, are those abs? I don't know what Felice is going to say. Hold mm -hmm. on. I don't know. I'm not an Hold on. Wait, 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 there. wait. He's the governor of Minnesota. No, well, that's not Jesse. Yeah. <laughs> ah. That's funny. This Jesse is Jesse Ventura. <laughs> this is yeah. Jake the Snake Roberts. Oh, Jake the Snake. <laughs> Come on, man. Jake the Snake. Hey, that's a Quite good one. A collection there, Greg. That's a good one. Oh, we're not done. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. You hey, better know this one. Slim Jim. Hey, brother. <laughs> Look at those abs. That's like a it, washboard. This is the oh. Lucho Man, Randy Look Savage. Look at mine, strapping to a Slim Jim. <laughs> I do have a Slim Jim. You do? And I yeah, got... it's called this. It's called a cigar. Oh, no. I see a mullet. Is that a... Oh, wait. Hold on. Who is he? Reggie, or... Hold on. Everything about him is perfect. Adonis? No. no. It's Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning. Mr. Perfect. Oh. oh. Although I do have an Adrian Adonis. Oh, that's Jesus. a real... That's a real person. Why did you just flirt with Lisa like that? <laughs> the adorable Adrian Adonis. I thought that was Donald Trump. Oh, well, it could be Donald Trump, you know too. <laughs> kind of scary about this is Lisa huh. wears the same underwear. It's awful. She I wears always the tell her, stop. Oh my God. That's true. <laughs> oh, no. This is Lisa's old boyfriend. Whoa. Boo -boo. Igor. <laughs> He's got green tongue. E Igor. <laughs> well, he was in uh, kind of like a, he was Tor Johnson in uh, Ed Wood movie. But in the ring, he was known as something else. Yeah, broad shoulders. He's got a good chest plate. And he's got hair all Walk over his body. Move. Are we live? Yeah. Damn straight. Is this real, is this real life? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> We're this dead. Is, this is George the Animal Steel. Oh, 
man. Good one. Come on, these are people. These I are stunt. These George are stunt Seattle people. Still. Nobody knows that. Dang. These are stunt people. Well, and speaking of stunt people, this guy I? here is a permanent of stunt person. What's wrong with his legs? They're green. You got green pants on. Covered in moss? Oh. This is Terry Funk. Terry, Terry Funk. Terry Funk. Funk. Terry He's Funk. Got He's got some funk going on. Well, I'll tell you one thing. He was the first, what I call the initial hardcore wrestler, because he would wrestle on thumbtacks, barbed wire, exploding barbed wire. Yeah. Yeah, I got a bunch of these, you know? Yeah, you do. Why is your earmuffs lighting up? That's pretty cool. Oh, Look at that. this one. Dang. He's got like lats. What the? Ah. That are... That's Paul, Mr. Wonderful Orndorf. We just recently lost him, too. Mm. He just passed? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. He had a massive feud with Hulk Hogan in 1986. Here's That's Lisa funny. Hoyle's old boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. B is that is that Gumby or what's the, wait hold on <laughs> Gumby what's his, what's his name um, King Kong Bundy King Kong Bundy <laughs> no, what did I say Gumby, Gumby. I and call him Gumby and he's large he is large that's true Lisa Hoyle's old boyfriend he's mine and he's large and he's large. The last, the, here's the last one I'll show. I got a bunch of them, but I can't show them all. Oh. I can't show them all. Are you being racist? This is the junkyard dog. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. Like his red legs Wait, and his he white had another boots. name. Wasn't he like the something something, the junkyard dog? Uh, JYD, a... the junkyard dog. What was it? They called him the JYD, the junkyard dog. JYD. Yeah. That's the acronym. He, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. He always come to the ring with a big chain around his neck and a collar. Where's your lower back tattoo? I don't have a lower back tattoo. Well, we're staring at your back. Yeah. You got... I'm just putting these things in this bag. So at least the Hoyle don't get too excited anymore. <laughs> We're right here. She'll get Just excited. We're looking at you. She's going to be dreaming about King Kong Bundy tonight. <laughs> and I feel 100% to blame for that. There he is. Yay. <laughs> we saw your lower back the whole time. Yeah, so uh, I saw a bunch of those at a con, and I just grab them up. I'm like, yeah. It's the only damage, huh? It's not your vault. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're getting sexed messagings as we're trying to talk. From her mom? <laughs> no. No, the neighbors. But they are 75 years old. <laughs> oh, another one. Just got in to have a new. Oh. <laughs> okay, sorry. So, what are you Anywho. guys going to do for Christmas? What are you guys doing for Christmas? Um, I'm going to Rancho Mirage. That's where my mom lives. Uh huh. And then. I'm going to. Which is funny because it's the first time in years that I have to do a heavenly grace to my family for Christmas. My uncle just died. It's kind of a whatever, but, and I will share this right now if you want to hear it. Sure. Day by day, day by day. Day by day, O O H, dear Lord, three things I pray, P R E Y, to see thee more clearly, 
not by Zane, and love thee more dearly, not dear as you shoot in the woods, but uh, follow thee more nearly, day by day by day, <laughs> day by day, click, <laughs> day <laughs> by day. <laughs> Okay, that's all I got. I'm sorry, but I love you. Did, and did so you, does the Lord. I believe day that. Day. I believe that. I believe that. I got a Bible back there, so I believe God loves me. Turn your okay. pictures back on. My daughter was calling me. And now Lisa's daughter's calling. Mm -hmm. I have to sing this whole thing again. No, you don't. Day no, by you day. Don't. Oh. No, you don't. That, 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 that has your daughter seen Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? <laughs> she will not know. watch it. I don't know. She will not watch it. Is that true? Maybe I don't know. know. I'll have to ask her. I know, Alicia, you're around my age, you know. Mm -hmm. I, 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 you're 32 I, as well? What? 49. She's 39. I'm 49. She's oh, 39. Shit. February 12th. <laughs> What's your birthday? Mine is July 8th, 1972. Milwaukee's best. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys got, uh, help Christine Applegate decorate for Christmas? No, but I know she has a big, beautiful tree. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You didn't go and uh, make Greg be the star on her tree? <laughs> no no it, it's funny because i can actually fit on the top of the tree because i'm so lightweight yeah you know, i'm gonna just text my daughter and make sure everything's okay tell her you're talking to a really awesome That's guy the mom and me he's a greggy tell her that you're talking to a really awesome podcaster <laughs> that's telling you you're this 39 years old yeah really Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a podcast. Oh, yeah. Do we swear? Yeah, go ahead. Fuck. Can I? <laughs> I'm a fucking soul. I feel like a fucking bag. Holy can I? Damn it. Lisa, you didn't say we could swear. Can I? Oh, I'm a soul. I bet, I bet she's uh, texting all those words you're missing right there. Yeah, all of them. Right now. <laughs> So right now, so Lisa's good friends with Christine Applegate. You're good friends with Chad Michael Murray. Who else uh, do, do you are you guys close with that you guys really loved working with? Tom Cruise, Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Will's a good kid. Yeah, well, I love Goldie Hawn. I love love Jerry love Goldie <laughs> it's Hawn. Like we can just drop name. That's just silly. But oh, I love Goldie Hawn. Goldie's a sweet. I don't know her. Love Goldie Hawn. Great. She's great. Who else did you say? Uh, I love Julie Benz, uh, Carrie yeah. Keegan, um, Will Ferrell. Yeah, Will Ferrell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lisa Hoyle doubled for Will Ferrell. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> they had to cut her hair off, but she looked great. Mm -hmm. Put her lips, she was 6'2", cut her hair off, dyed a little bit gray, because he did have a little bit of grayness. But the uh, second she stepped on set, she just looked <laughs> like Will. Ow, why are you hitting me? <laughs> That's actually abuse. That's okay. We're allowing it. <laughs> Thank you. What, what, what did you work with uh, Tom Cruise on? Oh, I worked with him on... Um, Which one? Well, I worked with him on MI3. It's kind of a you long You know story. what? That's you know. when they started getting good because I hated the first two Mission Impossibles. Yeah. It got after the third at the third one onward, they started getting really, really good, and especially getting Rebecca Ferguson, who I again another one of these women I think is 
<laughs> really nice to look at. So wait a minute. You're saying that there's at least one that was actually good? For Mission Impossible? Yeah. Three through whatever they are up to now have all been good. The first two I didn't care for, especially the second one, Stank. Stank. Uh, <laughs> my, my daughter doubled Dakota Fanning in War of the Worlds, so she worked with him for five months when she was 10. So Dakota Fanning. Yes. Okay. Number one fan. <laughs> nah. Dakota Fanning is pretty cool, though. She was yeah. in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That was interesting seeing her all grown up in what that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. She was in the, the, at the ranch. The girl oh. at the door. Wow. You didn't know she was in that was Dakota? What? She's yeah. A, she's a grown up girl. She is grown up now. So, wait, I didn't know that. Yes, Dakota. Dang. Okay. Well, I'm stupid. <laughs> no, you're not. Didn't you double for Margot Robbie in that? No, no, I was. Oh, I didn't double her, but I did work on it. I did some driving stuff. And uh, Tony Basil worked on it. I had her on here. Oh, I cool. love Tony Basil. Tony Basil made me love didn't Valentine's Ta Day. Tony Basil, so she's a singer, right? And choreographer. Did she, did she sing "My Name Is Luca"? No, my name is Luca. She sang, oh, oh Mickey, second. you're so bad. She sang, oh, Mickey, you're so fine. Oh, that's you're right. so fine. You're so fine. Yeah. You're so fine. 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 You're yeah, she was awesome, you know. That is to me is the greatest music video ever is Oh Mickey. <laughs> yeah. It's like such my era. Well, she did choreography in uh Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'm actually hoping Quentin Tarantino, I think, is gonna do one more movie before he decides to retire. Well, he's got he one more, right? He's got one more left in him, and I hope he works with Emma Stone. I want to see Emma Stone in a Tarantino movie. That would be cool. I like Emma Stone. I could watch Emma Stone in anything. <laughs> I could, I could, I could watch her throw a little kibbles to my cat and find her entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> I love Emma Stone. Awesome. Yeah. So tell but, me, when, when you did uh, Zombieland, did you eat lots of Twinkies? No. They <laughs> actually... So I... Um, you know, we worked nights. Mm -hmm. And then I remember getting back to the hotel in the morning. We would always eat breakfast in the little breakfast area. And the prop girl, Katrina, was in the like back kitchen area. And I looked back and I'm like, what do you... Hey, Katrina, what are you doing back there? And she goes, oh, I'm making vegan Twinkies. I'm like, what? She goes, yeah, we're shooting a scene tomorrow. And um, Woody Harrelson's Twinkies, vegan. Yeah, the Woody, like the Twinkies have to be vegan. And she's like, here, will you taste it for me? And I taste it. I'm like, oh, that's good. Anyway, so then when they went to shoot the next day, apparently she uh or he found out that she had used processed sugar and he was like no i'm not gonna eat this she was like ah i didn't know and so he agreed to uh chew it spit it out chew what's it. his problem <laughs> get vanessa angel who worked with him in kingpin to go down there and beat the tar out of him she did it once she'll do it again <laughs> But he was no, he was great. He was so great. But to they with. did. Was it, but yes, funny. he does have eating diet restrictions for sure. And so you know, they did do a tarn feather. They literally dropped 180 degree tar 
over the roof on this poor guy's head and dropped a bunch of feathers. And it was the most what awful. What are you talking about? Oh, sorry. What are you talking about? Tar and feather. I don't think they did that. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Wrong movie. Okay. <laughs> well, ixnay that. What What did you have in your eggnog? <laughs> What did Greg have to have? have we don't. Have we don't know, Greg. We don't. Know. Greg, did you did you have a little uh, nip of the bottle before? You... <laughs> yeah. Ayahuasca. Apparently. Weren't you just talking about tar and no, feather? No, nothing at all. Oh, about that. sorry. Huh? I heard tar and feather, and I just went on a tangent. There you go. <laughs> Uh, yes, she Lisa, loves, I agree. She loves me. I do love you. Yes, I'll see some romance. Come on, some tongue action. Come on. <laughs> see some romance on here. I want to up that rating on here. Come on. Uh, come you, on. You're lucky because what day is today? Hump day? Oh. <laughs> listen. 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 I want to see romance. Like I never seen since Porky's. Come on, come on. <laughs> Porky's <laughs> since uh, Fast Times. <laughs> I love Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Me too. Yeah, I've interviewed a couple people from that movie. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Kelly Maroney and Amanda Wiss. Mm. Yeah. What's, if I uh, what's Freaky Cake's name that jumped into the pool and came out? Oh. Phoebe Cates. Ah! Everybody Blush. remembers that. He's blushing. Oh, yeah. He's not blushing. He's representing. <laughs> you guys get romantic if I stick my Iron Sheik figure up there again? Hey, nothing turns. In nothing, heaven an nothing, hour before the devil knows you're dead. No, nothing turns Lisa Hoyle on more than uh, Iron Sheik. I heard so the Irish well. sheep. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I agree with that. So what yeah, pro but... what projects do you have coming up uh 2022 that you can talk about? Um I know I'm gonna be working on Dead to Me. Oh. Well the Johnny's <laughs> Johnny's no, Johnny's yeah, no. I know, but that's done. So coming up, oh, oh. um, <laughs> yes, I know. We're not, I know I'm working on Dead to Me, doing some driving, and then I, uh, I have a possible couple days on a movie that I don't even know what it's called. Who's in it? I don't even know. Emma Chevy Snow? Chase, uh, Beverly D'Angelo. Uh, hey, Greg. Uh, on your your left shoulder there, what's yeah. in that back pack? Right there. What's in there? That? Yeah. That's a, a plastic bag. It's probably got something or other in it. I don't know what's in it. Oh, something like that heroin? the cat. Something that the cat will probably try cat? to jump up and no kitty will probably try to jump up there. Jeepers Kitty's been trying to avoid this. Wait, Jeepers Creepers in the bag. Yeah, that movie sucked. So did it sequel. <laughs> apparently, I the director sucked it, too. I'm glad that I didn't see it. Thank you. Yeah, apparently, the director was pretty horrible too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did you say you'll go work with Emma Stone in the new year? Oh, uh, that would be great. Yeah. That'd be cool. We'll see about that. Mm. She's actually really lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we're gonna. Yes. We're gonna manifest. We're gonna. What? Put it out uh, what I would universe. do. Yes. Uh, I don't know why. I, 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 I would be speechless if I met Emma Stone. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like her. I like Anna Kendrick, too. I think Anna Kendrick's uh, funny, too. I like funny she's women. 
she's talented. Very talented. I like funny women for some reason. I, th- I like funny women. I apparently and- like funny men. <laughs> <laughs> But Anna is, she's smart, she's funny, and she's sweet. But she can roll with everyone. She can just pop in here and be like, okay. And then stack some cups and make us look stupid. She's really, really talented. You doubled for her too, huh? Yes. (laughs) Just wig. Don't, Don't even go there. (laughs) <laughs> never mind did you get did you, did you get the double for Chloe Grace Barents and kick ass Mm-mm. no <laughs> do you have that connection <laughs> I know you do hey Lisa I'm calling my connection can you call Greg no no who's calling you oh is that us you did stunts and community so i'm I'm assuming you met chevy chase huh me yeah either one of you chevy oh okay danny devito but that was not what was that show uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, yeah. But no, I never did community. But Chevy, I heard, is a tough one. To talk about with. talk about working on Iron Man. Okay. Yeah. That was cool. I worked, question- on, I worked on three. You worked Would on you say, what's your question? Two. I was going to say, as Rodney Dangerfield would say, the questions get harder as we go along. (laughs) I say, uh, tell me about working on Iron Man. And Greg Anthony's like, uh. (laughs) It was fantastic. This is a perfect segue. I just have to go use the little girl's room. (laughs) You mean the one that Greg Anthony was just in? (laughs) And I thought it was a, a little man's room. Well, that I'm lied to here. Okay. Don't you wish that uh, Jeff Bridges had a, been an Iron Man playing the dude? The dude versus yes. Iron Man? Absolutely. Don't you think so? It was funny working with Robert Downey Jr., mm-hmm. sweetheart. Every lunchtime, he had a little. Uh, it's kind of funny. He had a, uh, what do you call it? He had something set up so that nobody could see what he was doing, but he was training every lunch break, Krav Maga and MMA fighting. And so you see these cats grabbing on to him, locking on, and he's, he's just fighting them, doing his thing. And like, it's, is he going to get lunch? That's his lunch. What? Feel bad for that guy, but he's Iron Man. So do you think anything different? No, well, he, 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 he got a start as Iron Man when he was in back to school, when he had that helmet on with the rocket going through it. You're thinking <laughs> of weird science. Nope. Back to school. With Rodney. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Great movie. Triple Lindy. Triple, Triple Lindy. Lending. Look no. at the kitty. Hey. So his name is Fletch because I love the movie Fletch. Fletch. And you love Chevy Chase. Yeah. Who's yeah. Chevy? Yeah. What? I don't know where my kitty is. Skittles. He's right there. In that backpack. No. Oh. You just give me a second. He's out there in the kitchen. Just give me a sec. I'll get him. I'm gonna get him. Okay. Come on, double G, Greg Gilbert. I'll show him your we'll cat. Put on, we'll put on a little uh, puppet show. 
Hey guys. Ah! Greg Gilbert. Greg Gilbert. Hi. My name is Fletch. I like to dance. Oh, oh look at that. My friend. Did he just smack you? <laughs> no, he sneezed. Oh. Bless you. Wow. Look at there's your friend. Did you even tell him Kazutha tights? <laughs> there we go. He, I just got smacked. Hey. Look at that kitty. Look, Look. Look at that kitty. <laughs> Skittles oh, is like. Oh, ah, ah. He's drunk. Ooh, ah, e, ah, ah. That means I ah, love you. Or, Skittles says, I'm a verse. <laughs> You're using me for hits. <laughs> what what'd you well, think? Uh, Skittles says, if, no, he's he puts a pussy in Pussycat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't break those lines, Greggy. <laughs> but if you're going to break them, fucking I. Oh, there you go. Hi, Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> no, Christina Applegate didn't come on tonight. Sorry. Sorry. That's Skittles, not your fault. Skittles says that that was his condition to come on here. I said, no, your condition is to come on here when I tell you to come on here. <laughs> oh, I did wear a Christmas song. There you go. Look <laughs> at those. I got in the spirit. Are those Greg's? Uh, no, but he did buy them for me. Yeah. Those, like, those laggings, are they Greg's? <laughs> uh, he could, he could yes. rock these. He could totally rock these. Are you kidding? <laughs> They'd be baggy on me. I got chicken legs. It's awful. Like Auschwitz? Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Sorry. It's awful. That was bad. <laughs> You didn't hear that, right? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> so, she should... laughs at me because I'm like, let's go get some White Castle. <gasps> like, Her like Harold and Kumar. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, before that, many cheeseburgers. Because I have no legs. Oh. <laughs> I, I love you. And your skinny legs. What the fuck? <laughs> Is he, are you our witness? Yep. I, I just well, thinking. Just so you know, we're actually going to get married right now. Mallet. <laughs> What's you know so what funny I, about that? You know what I think? Knowledge. You you guys should uh, connect uh, Christina Applegate and Chad Michael Murray. Oh no, Chad's married. Oh, he's already married. We love Sarah. We love his wife. Yeah, that's why. Well, I guess that won't work. No, but However, that was a nice idea. Chad Michael Murray and Greg Gilbert. <laughs> I don't swing that. Now, how about I want Emma Stone. <laughs> All right, never mind. I want Emma Stone. She's married oh. now. She wants Emma Stone. She wants Emma Stone. Greg Gilbert, Emma Stone. Yeah, the problem is Emma Stone's married. <laughs> Here's yeah. the thing. Again, so we're all another thing I love about Emma Stone. Her, she got married, uh, and, and it wasn't all over the papers, you know. I think paparazzi caught some stuff, but she wasn't going around announcing it. Even when she got pregnant, you know, she wasn't running around announcing it. Jennifer Lawrence, of course, moment she's engaged, all over the news. Break Look up. at me, everybody. Break Look up. at me. Oh, yes. Look at me. Oh, don't get away from me. I won't do a selfie with you. You're not important <laughs> enough. Correct. <laughs> yeah, that is correct. Yeah, I but, think I've, I think I've told you because people ask me all the time. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank place. you. Um, <laughs> Just pretzels. I think I, I had an almond a minute ago. Anyway, uh, people ask almond. me all the time, like, "Oh, how's this person? Mm -hmm. How's that person work with?" I've pretty much put. 
actors in two categories. Mm -hmm. They're either just genuinely cool to you, the director, the janitor, to everyone. And then there are those actors that are on, that are only cool to those people that they deem important enough to be cool to. Does that make sense? Yep. And I don't like those people. Yeah. Well, right now, I think I know what category Jennifer Lawrence falls under. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. you know what? I might not have her kind of money, but I'm one of the people that can affect her box office. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I've, I've seen actors go from there to there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guarantee you once she starts plummeting, she will uh won't be rejecting selfies mm -hmm. and i'm not saying that accept a selfie while you're in a restaurant you know but don't be a don't be an asshole you know when you're you know yeah yep but uh we won't talk about the bad ones but who is on your good list lisa i'll start Kathy with you Bates. <laughs> i love jane fonda ever seen misery Jane Fonda. Yeah, Misery was when Trump was president. <laughs> Remember when Kathy Bates put that block in between his legs and uh -huh. she took a sledgehammer and smashed his legs? And then she had that little encouraging, it's okay. It's gonna you're gonna heal. <laughs> Something about that felt so motherly. Okay. I loved yeah. it. I was like, break my break my femurs. You know what I mean? Like, break my ankles. There you go. I thought it was cute. It you was like adorable. I mean, the pain. <laughs> Lisa, you mentioned Jane, Jane Fonda? I love <laughs> Jane Fonda. Yeah. Which one is James? Yeah, so I doubled her um, in Monster in Law. Did you get Jane Fonda? Did you get the, did please tell me you got to slam Jennifer Lopez's face in that cake? I think so. <laughs> I know I fought with her, yeah. There you go. Um, I know I fought with her. But I asked <laughs> Jane if I could take a picture with her and it, this was um pre-cell phone so i had a digital camera mm -hmm. and she was like well let's get the set photographer and so we got the set photographer and he took a picture and um and then thank there was you a hair on your nose. thank you and then about a week later i got an eight by ten signed picture of jane bond and i in the mail oh that's so cool yeah. And I know uh, Christine Applegate's one of your uh, favorites. I take it she's one of the nice ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who else yeah. goes on that list? Oh, goodness. I love Keira Knightley. She was wonderful. Georgia Fox. Okay. Uh, You're supposed to say Emma Stone. It make me feel good. Uh, oh, Emma Stone. <laughs> yes. Emma Stone. Um, I didn't get to spend a lot of time with her. Uh -huh. I, we did take a picture together, and she was did you get she out was of a lovely car for her. Yes, she um, jumped out of a car. But I so I didn't get to have a rapport with her. I should say. I'd love to get my picture taken with Emma Stone. I, you'd see me sweat if I. If I, <laughs> I like that um, one. Very cool. I yeah. also love. Timothy Oliphant. Okay. Oh, what a great guy. He was wonderful. Scream, right? Wasn't he in Scream? To me, yes. Timmy. Did he scream? He might have. He was in Justified. He was the one that killed what's her butt, man? Scream 2. Oh. To me, Timothy Oliphant. Come on, Greg. You know this. <laughs> I don't I know. know. <laughs> I just know Nev Campbell's in it. You know, which Nev, is cute. Nev was great. 
Nev was great. Nev's got like Emma Stone, cute little nose freckles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Emma Stone yes. was in Scream. Yeah, I doubled her. No, Nev Scream. Campbell was. Yes. Well, she was in every single one of them. Yeah. 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 No, I, I like Nev. So she's Nev's sweet. one of the good ones, huh? She's sweet. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. You see, I gather this data to see if my show ever gets a little bigger, who would be people that I'd feel comfortable approaching, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. yeah, because I, I hate going after people that are, I, I find are going to be rude. What about yeah. you, Greg? Who, who, who's the, the, your favorite people you've worked with besides Chad Michael Murray? Well, he's, a, he's one of my best friends, so it's different. Uh -huh. uh, Will Farrell. I love Will. And he always, every time I see him, it, it, he's very approachable. But you can never tell if he's messing with you or not. Is he like Elf when he sees you? Does he go? Whoa! Yes. Yes. Santa. He would. He'd come up to you and he would come up to you and and touch you on your shoulder. He would say, "Hey, how you doing, Greg?" And he'd be like, "Wait, I." Hey, Will. And he'd say, "Are you good? I'm great. Are you good? I'm great." And you're like, are you messing with me right now? What's going on? Nothing. I'm just saying, I just wanted to say hi. That's Will <laughs> Ferrell. He is straight up that. There is no, it's it's creepy, but fun and cool. But yeah, he's legitimate and he's genuine. He just wants to know how you're doing. I remember when I worked on Anchorman, he and I were in the makeup trailer together yeah and it's already he, funny right <laughs> well no he was like so if you're a mom and you're a stunt woman i want to like tell me about that and i'm like let's messing? not talk about me like, let's <laughs> talk about you but he like genuinely wanted to yeah, know what it was like having a four-year-old and being a stunt woman <laughs> i didn't know you were a mom till tonight Really? Yeah, and this is like the third Hello. time I've had you on here. Wow. Okay, yeah, my daughter's 27. She's a stunt woman. She's amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. She's working all the time. She's getting into stunt rigging. She works on um cuz you don't look man. that old. <laughs> and I mean, I mean that you uh, <laughs> like, I know you're around my age, but I'll tell you, you'll go a lot better than I do. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, her, her daughter no, calls me dad... grandpapa. No, <laughs> her name is, her name is Sierra and she's, she's adorable. The best. Sierra Hoyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a loyal Hoyle. Can't so what's she, what's she worked on? Oh, oh. Wow. well, she's been working on um, a TV show called For All Mankind. It's an Apple show. Okay. Apple she's playing an astronaut. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. She's been working on lots of things. Astronaut. Um, Stranger Things. She's worked on that. Well, you got Stranger Things sitting right beside you. Mm. <laughs> Hey, was that a pun? Uh, <laughs> okay, you win. I don't know. She, you can, you can IMDb her. She's been working on all kinds of things. Oh wow! I did not know you were mom until tonight, and I've had you on here twice yeah. before. Oh wow! I, know, I guess we never went to that. You have to do a area. mother daughter. Oh my goodness. Mm, that would be fun. She's amazing. I'll have you on here if yeah. you got her. She's a yeah. bad apple roller skater. Yeah, she loves roller skating. Yeah. Like like Roger exactly. Mill like Roger Miller. Does she roller skate in a buffalo herd? Like badass huh. roller yeah. Pools. Yeah. Tony I have. Hawk. Tony Hawk is good friends with <laughs> nah. But that kind of Yes. 
I'll have you on here with your daughter. Yeah. I, I think that'd be yeah. great. That would be fun. That yeah, fun. I had no idea. That would be great. I loved yeah. it during the pandemic. I'd always watch you two do your uh, your lip syncing there, and I always looked forward to watching that and uh, whatever songs you guys were picking. And what what, what got you? inspired you guys to do that because a lot of people were really uplifted by that including myself um i'll tell you so greg's brother lives in italy first and foremost thank you for saying that because we did not expect people to even care about i liked it forward so it was a joke we had we had just gone to italy his brother uh married an italian and Mm -hmm. then (laughs) And then it was like six months later, <laughs> Greg's telling me like, yeah, they're on lockdown in Italy. Like, wow, that's crazy. And then we went on lockdown. And as a joke, the night we went on lockdown, Greg and I did a lip sync of um, Wild World. It was Cat Stevens. Yeah, Cat Stevens. Ooh, baby, I baby. mean, it was just a joke, but we got so much over a thousand response hits. and comments and so we did it every we did a lip sync every day for I, think, for I think the first 185 days we did uh, a lip sync i lost count every day I, I always loved it too when greg would pick the cat up and wave the cat around the <laughs> the cat, i'd always the whole point of throwing our instruments i'd always throw something but you would never really hear it. Sometimes you would hear it, but it was such a... But sometimes, like, it would be four in the morning. We're both awake. We're like, okay, what song are we going to do? So it's like four in the morning. We're doing a lip sync. Shoot it now. Shoot it now. We would do, because we were bored. We're on lockdown. (laughs) I shame my head. (laughs) But we do have a new song before the year's over. Yeah, we're going to do one for We can say what it is. We don't know. Do we? Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. What? I could send you a whole bunch of songs. <laughs> oh, everybody does. Trust me, <laughs> we have we have a whole list of everyone saying, can you do, would you just please do this song? I don't know, the next song. No, I know. Yeah. Taking it back to the old school, because I'm an old fool. Why haven't you done any Weird Al songs? That's weird. Like, like, like Dare to be oh, Stupid. Oh, look at Lisa. Like what? Do like Dare to be Stupid by Weird Al. <laughs> That's good, actually. That's very good. Dare to be Stupid. I... It's like spitting yeah, on a I like, fish. Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> How about I, I sent you what was it? The uh, the ketchup song by uh, Stomp and St- Tom Connors. <laughs> Goodness I me. got that. No, we got yeah. And then what was the last? One? I don't know. Whoop! There it is. Taking it back to the old school. Cause I'm an old fool who's so cool, isn't that? How about um, bread and butter by the news bit? <laughs> oh shit! Remember that scene in uh, nine and a half weeks where they're playing with the food outside the fridge, and of course yeah. the, the song uh, uh, <laughs> "Bread and Butter" bread and is butter. playing, and Lisa Hoyle can be, be the high yeah. pitch woman voice in it. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, do bread and butter. <laughs> oh man, there's another one. On the that you said. There's another one you said that. It was like, oh, that'd be a good one too. Ooh, what what I said? It? That you sent, yeah, I have it. I know I sent you the ketchup song by Stomp and Tom Connors. He was Maybe one of that's the one I'm thinking about. Yeah, that. Stomp. Yeah, he's gone now. I don't know if you guys are familiar with him. He but died, right? Yeah, he's gone. Okay, that's but the thing I think. Stop, yeah. Tom, Stop and Tom Connors, a ketchup song. <laughs> ketchup <laughs> loves potatoes. <laughs> well, you know what you do when you fall behind, right? Huh? You catch up. You catch up. Pulp Fiction, Uma Thurman. Oh. You, doubled, you doubled for Uma, haven't you? No? No, Danny DeVito, yes. 
Uma but you did married to Danny DeVito, right? No, real Perlman's married to Danny wow. DeVito. Who's Uma Thurman? She was in Pulp that... Fiction and Kill Bill. Pulp Fiction. She's not married to Danny DeVito. <laughs> no. Like we just said, Rhea Perlman. Correct. I'm like, Japers, Danny, you did well. <laughs> Uma Thurman? Woo. Danny DeVito's, he's actually really tall. <laughs> did you know that? He's honestly easily four foot six. That's not funny. That's not funny. But he is maybe okay, sorry, four foot five. But he's cool. Super cool. Now I, I showed you all those wrestlers earlier. Spe speaking of people they often say are technically stunt people, the wrestlers. Um, have you guys met any of them? Huh. Did you meet Roddy That's Piper? Good. Tell me you meet Roddy Piper. I love I, Roddy Piper. If I did, I would have his autograph, which I don't do autographs, but no, that would be awesome. Wrestlers, they're in a whole different Yeah, it's area. totally. It's a, uh, hold on. Wait a minute. Goldberg. I did meet Goldberg. I hung out with him. I did a golf tournament with him. And it was cool. Bill Goldberg. That's the only wrestler I've ever met. And that was really cool. And he was the sweetest guy in the world. Did he do the superplex on you? <laughs> I asked for it. <laughs> and he was like, hey, what do you think? I'm going to get a, a hernia for you? I was like, I'm 115 pounds, dude. Come on. But that was really cool. He didn't do In the spear Buffalo, on you? What's he up? Did, he didn't do the spear on you? No, I was hoping he was going to blow up, uh, the smoke out of his nose. <laughs> Remember when he came out on stage and went... Did you uh, try to do the spear on him? <laughs> I tried, but he was too heavy. It sucked, but it's, I still felt cool. <laughs> I felt really cool. And I met Jim Kelly. That doesn't mean wrestling. shit because I've already known him. But... No, nice. but Bill Goldberg. And I met... Uh, What's that show with Adam Sandler, the golfing, the golfing? Oh, Happy movie. Gilmore. What's his name? The prick. Oh, Shooter McGavin. Shooter McGavin is a good buddy. Chris, oh, Christopher he's not McDonald's. my friend, but oh my he's God. friends. Yeah, Shooter McGavin's a prick. Met him with Goldberg and Jim Kelly. So tell me, what was, uh, I'm going to go way back for you guys. What was uh, Christmas like for you two growing up? Ask um, Lisa first. Well, my mom's from Sweden, so mm -hmm. our tradition is um, our Christmas is always on Christmas Eve. Is it my turn to answer? Yeah. I got coal. You know A what? Stocking of coal. You know what? Last year, I got nothing for Christmas. My friggin' cat got stuff for Christmas, and I'm, I, I don't know how Skittles pulled that off, because I'm pretty sure I was more better behaved than he was. <laughs> no, I beg to differ. <laughs> I beg to differ. I'm like, I'm not a one up in the middle of the night hacking stuff up on the floor. Well, <laughs> I did get, I, when I say coal, I'm talking about Cocoa Krispies. Best bowl of cereal ever not as good as many <laughs> yeah so you guys hang your stockings up at christmas no i don't buy that come on lisa i know you got stockings no well she hangs my stocking i got one yeah the other one's got holes in it. I'm still, hey, come on. No, we have no stockings up. It doesn't look really Christmassy in here at all. 
all. Well, don't look Christmassy in here either, yeah. you know? Yeah. You don't want to, you want to bet? It doesn't look, look Christmas. The cinema snob. Sure. Whoa. The cinema snob. Whoa. With Lloyd. Lloyd? No, it's... that's the guy. That's Tom, Tom Green. I've seen him before. I've met him. Really? <laughs> yeah. He's Canadian. The Chad. Mm-hmm. The Chad. The Chad. Whoa. Lisa. But, but I got this, though. I could, this is festive. Mm-hmm. The Blues Brothers. Yeah. Do you guys have a mask that's this cool? Yes, we yeah. have a little bit better than that. You got to get a fear and loathing mask. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah. What's the next best mask? Mm-hmm. Well, he just called us out on our bluff. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Yeah? Don't laugh. And Doug Flutie's got nothing on you. <laughs> Chicago Bears. <laughs> Doug Flutie. That doesn't look like a bear at all. <laughs> Play for the Bears. Yeah? Well, yeah. He had the best Hail Mary of all time. In fact, he made Catholics feel cool. Because he did the Hail Mary. Do you think that he would have made these two feel cool? Because the nuns used to beat these guys oh, to the root meter stick. Gee, absolutely. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. We did a listening on that song. Come on, everybody. Get up there. And, dun, 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 dun. Remember that? That's all we got. That's all you got? Yeah, <laughs> my bad. So, Lisa, That's I gotta right. get you, I gotta get you two to do the doubt fire face challenge. Oh, the pie in the face. Yeah, I know. What is that one? That's for suicide and like, depression awareness. Like yeah. banana cream pie kind of thing. Whatever you want to. I always tell people just buy a paper plate, put whipped cream on it. <laughs> you know, you know. Huh? But if you're going to go full force, why not do a coconut cream pie? Key lime pie. Banana cream pie. Are you giving, su- <laughs> Are you giving suggestions of what you, what you want pie, uh, Lisa, was? Yeah, I think that's I just what want to doing. eat everything that's on my face. <laughs> no? Okay. I have I have few takers on it, you know. I um, yeah, I threw that out to people after the ice bucket challenge did so well. I uh, threw that out to, for people suffering with depression. I'm actually uh, there's an actress uh, I'm friends with that she's going through a massive depression right now, and um, I didn't throw doubt fire at her because she's not emotionally ready for something like that. But she lost a family member last year, and she's been struggling oh. to deal with that. So, uh, um, I get I t- see him, if you don't mind asking, like, what what family member? Stepdad. Oh, she was close. Uh, she was close to her stepdad, but she um, damn contacted me a few nights ago, just asking uh, to keep her in prayer. And uh, I always do, you know, but I love it that she reaches out to me for that because, you know, but um, I kind of get this and I find it funny. Depression is never taken seriously enough. But I'll tell you, um, I had a a podcaster, um, Scotty McCoy from Slasher Scotty had said to me, why don't you reach out to people in Cameo, see if they'll do it. And uh, he suggested I go after wrestlers, and Tori Wilson responded to it. <laughs> and she did it, and so did Brody Piper's daughter, Ariel. I, I enjoy okay. tormenting her go. anyway, Full you know. Uh, but um, but I've had uh, one or two people. Uh, I have I have one in particular just recently. Uh, last year she wanted to do it, but be, due to COVID. She wasn't able to. And I get that. I get that. And then this year, she tells me to withdraw it. 
and I'm Take like, out of the loop? yeah, and I'm like, huh. I, I was a co-producer in a movie that she was involved with, and I'm like, I'm, I'm certainly glad the money I spent on the movie went well towards you being paid. You can't even do this cause. It's like, thank you. I'll remember that <laughs> next time you're. You ain't no Santa Claus. No. Nope. So, uh, okay. no, I think you two should do the doubt for a challenge. Doubt for a yeah, face we'll challenge. Do that. Send it. Yeah. Now I know what kind of pie he wants. Oh, yeah, you know going. what? We you should do it on a Zoom like this. Okay. Look yeah. at the selfie uh, schnuck. It's back here. Uh, another is that, that that same cat? Yeah, he's he just looks, being a punk. Look, he looks so small back there. <laughs> you should feel how oh, he when he jumps in your stomach at three in the morning and he weighs twenty two pounds. <laughs> Oh, my cat, my cat will get up on the bed and he'll, um, I can hear, feel him walking in behind me. Then he'll go down. He'll step over my shins, walk up and he'll gawk right in my face. And I'm like, Skittles, your wake up time and my I wake up time. His name is Skittles. He was named That's that before that. I got him. Yeah. He's a rescue kitty. Skittles. And then he'll just get I up. love Skittles. Who doesn't? He yeah, taste the rainbow. He's black and white. <laughs> taste yeah. the rainbow. <laughs> but uh, and then he'll okay. climb up on my uh, my uh, stomach and he'll sit there and and uh, I'll Get reach up and there. scratch him and he'll raise his ass up in the air. <laughs> they like do that when you uh, you, you touch the lower back and up and down, up and down. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, Skittle. really cool. Yeah, <laughs> taste but the rainbow. That's taste funny. the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Yeah. Skittle. Yeah. So you guys aren't work doing anything else uh, right now in terms of stunt stuff, huh? No, the year is over right now. As far as let's go to 2022, see what happens. Yeah, it usually slows down right around the holiday. Yeah, which is great. Mm hmm. You, you recoup and let's get uh, geared up to go get murdered a million times next year. Now you guys go go out Christmas caroling. Come on, Actually, we want we, want, we yes. want to see that. <laughs> and if you wanted to hear a song, we will do one for you. It's up to you. <laughs> you up for it? Oh okay. yes, absolutely. Right. Uh, here we go. No. What do you mean, no? No. What do you oh, mean, no? Oh, 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 okay, I think it's time that we wrap up this in interview. <laughs> Lisa, stop being a sour sport and do some singing. No. Did you hear that? Greg's got Chris, my back. Let, let, Greg, let, Greg, minds think alike. Christina Applegate just told me she wants you to sing. Can you okay. believe that? Can no. you believe that? No. She said it would mean the world to her if you would do some I duetting. I only lip sync, Greg. You know this. I only lip sync. Christine. Oh, I'll, I will I, sing it. She says that's not true. You get a beautiful voice. No, I don't, I don't have one. I don't, I don't, don't have know. One. No, don't have one. we're done. Christine, <laughs> Christina, it's Christina Apple, bedtime, guys. Christina Applegate is saying. It's past my bedtime. What song do you want to hear? Christina's on this one, and Chad Michael Murray's on this one. They're both <laughs> speaking to me. I can't believe it. They're both saying they want to hear your beautiful voices unite. <laughs> what song do you want to hear? No, this. I, no. Yes. Sing what song? You know what? I want you guys to sing one of those duet songs from Greece. <laughs> I live night. Only night. night. Ah! Okay. <laughs> that was great. Was that was going awesome. So well, and then your octave went. Get that was great. I, 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 so, so we need rehearsal time. I, we'll I'm going to get you signed for a hit record. Be the snowman we'll no. was a very... No. Oh, no. No. 
next time. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer <laughs> had a very okay. shiny nose. You know what? And if they have what? I was going to say, oh, it was yeah. so wonderful having you come out, guys come on here and spend some Christmas time with me. I, oh, I, I just kind of thought that this would be something fun, you know, and have you two on here. Yeah. Yeah, we should do the, you should do the pie challenge on a Zoom. I, when yeah, I interview, we'll do that. I, when we'll I interview, do that. we'll rehearse a song. I'll mm -hmm. give you a song. And thank but... you for putting up with us. Or trying out loud. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll do one with my daughter. Oh yeah. Yeah. You could do a pie challenge with your daughter too? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. maybe. She's Even always if she says it glows like a light. Yeah, well, I would love I'd love to have you and your daughter on here. Like I did I didn't know you had a daughter. Yep. <laughs> I did not know that. And she's a she stunt cares. woman. Yes. How awesome is that? Yeah. How Thanks. awesome is that? Thank you. Yeah, I think that is awesome. But mm -hmm. yeah, I loved having you two come on here tonight. I just, uh, I remember the last time, you know, uh, you were both kind of there and um, I was like, it just kind of hit me. I should have them come on and do something around <laughs> Christmas. And, you know, and this was, this was great. I enjoyed uh, every bit of this. And thanks uh, for having us. I love having you, you know, mm -hmm. and send my best to christina applegate i will yeah, I will. Awesome. She, you. she doesn't have to come on here but you know what i i wish her well she has entertained me since the 80s and right. uh we all wish her the best you yeah. know i think she's awesome she's lucky to have somebody as lovely as you as her stunt woman mm, thank you you mm. know i'm sure she'll agree on that you know and uh, send Chad Michael Murray my best. <laughs> we will do. Yeah. Hey, where'd I, you go? Huh? Oh, I, I am. We got to, to work with this lovely woman here, Hillary Duff. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's, that is amazing. And you know, Lisa's birthday is 3.14, right? Pi? <laughs> Hi. That's random, but yes, but it's that's true. The same Patty's Day party. You're wearing green. No, that's not. St. Patrick's Day is March 17th. 17th, but not I'm not 14th. talking about. I'm saying that your birthday is high. Correct. And so the next time we anyway. talk, we will do some Irish songs. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm up for that. Okay. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> absolutely and uh yeah we'll have to get to the pie challenge and uh yeah all that stuff actually you get to nominate three people too so you get think of some of these people from the industry we'll be goldberg <laughs> all right what <laughs> there we go yeah all right thanks greg greg goldberg <laughs> merry christmas to you both you too. and a happy new year new year all right god Thanks, bless buddy. you both Bye. <laughs> cigars for you <laughs> that's you what that is <laughs> it is a cigar from a golf tournament lisa won <laughs> oh <my goodness>. like... <laughs> all right she won <laughs> Happy holidays. God bless. Thank you, you so too. much. God bless. Bye bye. 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 -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> let's just let's do this freeze frame. Freeze frame. Freeze frame. Get a freeze hold frame. Okay, that was good. Okay, let's hold it again. <laughs> Ready?